So how long does it really take to build a complete SaaS application from scratch? I'm not talking about a simple landing page. I'm talking about a full stack AI powered tool with user accounts, a database, image uploads, and even a payment system to make money. Normally that would take a while, but today we're going to try and do it in minutes. The idea is simple, an AI powered app that generates creative Instagram captions from any image you upload. To build it, we'll be using Rocket.new, a tool that claims to be the world's first vibe solutioning tool, turning a single sentence into a full stack production ready solution in minutes. It can easily integrate your web apps with other services like Stripe, OpenAI, Netlify, GitHub, and more. And I want to thank Rocket.new for sponsoring this video. So let's see if we go from a simple prompt to a monetized working AI application live on the internet. Okay, I'm logged into rocket.new. It tells us some different integrations it can do. And usually just do the integration right through the chat interface. So I'm just going to put a single prompt here and see. let's see what it comes up with. Create an MVP for a full stack SaaS web application called CaptionCraft. They have to allow users to upload an image and automatically generate five creative Instagram captions. So it includes user authentication, dashboard, and subscription model using Stripe. So let's see what happens. Okay, now we get it doing all its thinking over here and we'll see what it comes up with on the right side. So do we wanna use the default framework or customize? Let's use the default. And it says the app will initially be front end only and then after a creation you can integrate OpenAI and Superbase and Stripe. So after we see the front end, we will have it do all that as well. And we'll just say that we want to create all these. So now it's building all these different pages. We can see the preview, which is not showing anything yet because it's not done creating the code. But we can also see the code and later we'll be able to see the integrations like Stripe, Superbase, and everything like that. Okay, just like that, the front end is complete. So it created everything. We even have some sample login credentials, demo login credentials, and the front end is looking pretty good. Let's see the dashboard. And it has some demo data already in here. Nice. And then we have, we can go over to our subscription. We're on the free trial right now. And right now we have, this is basically just all demo data. So let's make this really work by integrating OpenAI. So let's click to integrate OpenAI. And all I have to do is just put in my OpenAI key here and continue. I got that just from the OpenAI website. Okay, we've integrated. We've created the caption service and it replaced mock data with actual AI generated captions based on uploaded images. Nice. And let's see what this looks like now. Let's go to our generate and good. There's no sample data. There's no demo data. Uh, but before I try this out, let's get Superbase connected also. That will actually give us a real database that we're connected with. So I'll just tell the chat, now integrate Superbase. So it says I'll integrate Superbase to enable user authentication, database storage, and Stripe payment processing. So it's also integrating Stripe. So I just have to get my Stripe information right from the Stripe website, the Stripe dashboard. Um, I won't show you how to log into Stripe and set up an account, but it's pretty straightforward. And then you, it'll just give you these keys. Now we just have to um, connect to Superbase. So I'm gonna connect to CaptionCraft. I've already created this project on the Superbase website and save. So it's pretty easy to connect to Stripe and Superbase. So let's see if it all works. Just connected everything, I can just push to Superbase just like that. Okay, database migration to Superbase is complete. Let's try this out. So right now we're at the user login page. I actually want to try out the whole process. So let's actually create an account. Okay, when I want to go to a create the account, we have an error here. So I can just click fix it. Okay, it says it fixed the errors. So let me try signing up again. And we'll create the account. Okay, now let's see if I can use the email 
address account that I just made. So I'll put in the email and password. Okay, I'm logged in. Nice. And I'll just test out the caption generator. Okay, I'm uploading this image of my son holding our first chicken egg from our chickens that we hatched and generating captions. Okay, we got some errors. Let's try to fix them here. Okay, I'll try one more time uploading the image again and it seems to be working. Okay, created some captions. Check the nest every morning and today a tiny treasure appeared. Wow, that's actually accurate to this image. Uh, and another, hold your dreams the way you'd hold the fragile eggs. If we go to the dashboard, we can see our caption history. We can see the one we just created here. Wow, this is pretty nice. And we can see all the captions again. Let me try one more. Okay, let's see the captions. Uh, gold ceilings, quiet footsteps, and a thousand years watching. Uh, so that's a nice caption. Uh, so we can go to the dashboard and, oh, see now we can see both things here. Now the final thing to check is if the Stripe integration works. So go to subscription. Right now we're in the, the free trial, but I'm going to see if I can upgrade to Pro. I don't actually know how I'm for sure gonna test this, but let's see. This seems to not work. Okay, I cut out some video of me kind of going back and forth in chat, trying to get Stripe to work. I ended up having to get the price ID and product ID from my Stripe dashboard I'm putting in here. And then I can launch, I can launch on web, and I was able to launch on Netlify. So now, let me see if I can upgrade to Pro and see how the Stripe uh, connection is working. Okay, awesome, it goes to the Stripe checkout here. Now, honestly, I don't know about like the, the sandbox mode in Stripe, but let's just see if this works with the demo card information that Stripe uses, and let's see if this works. Okay, looks like we have one more error. Let's see if I can figure out this error also. Payment completed, but there was an issue, edge function error, so I'll just put it over in the chat. Okay, and let's just see if it can fix this error. And we'll deploy it. Okay, I'll try the subscription one more time. And now I'm on the pro plan. Nice. We can generate captions from images and we can uh, create users, we can log in, we can we have everything connected to Supabase, we have everything connected to Stripe, we have it deployed on Netlify. So honestly, I haven't seen another uh, AI web app builder that can handle integrations as seamlessly as this one. And what it can create with not that many prompts is frankly pretty impressive. So make sure to go to rocket.new and build something today. It's free to start. And you can share your build on X and, and tag rocket.new. Thanks for watching.